on in. Okay, this is magnolia tree, absolutely fantastic. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to come over to this side, because that's where the light is, it's coming through there. And I'm gonna shoot into the light on the 56 mm lens, here we go. Yeah, that's lovely, just comes that way slightly to there, beautiful. Let's have a look at this. To there. Gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just turn around and just look over your shoulder. To there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just bring the eyes up to camera. Yeah, that's nice. Just bring that, drop that hand down. Bring that hand onto your arm for me. This onto there. That's nice there. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now square up. Bring your hands out onto those branches. There, I'm just going to shoot slightly wider. That's nice. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back to here. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Beautiful. And just do one more. Bring your hands. Just bring your hands to like this. To there. Just, just tuck your top down a bit. That's it. Okay. Do the same again. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. Bring eyes to camera. Yeah. Thank you. What I've just taken, I've just taken a few frames of Victoria just into the light. I'd often use the canopy of a tree and work near the edge of the tree. I have my back to the, to the trunk and I shoot out. That's quite a, a common system that I use. Now, occasionally the ground under a tree is quite green, um, the grass, etc. in which case you might get quite a bit of yellow or green sort of uplift. Uh, back into the face but here we've got a sort of quite a hard sort of patio type surface and it's fine so just bear that in mind sometimes you might just want to put down um, a reflector if you've got a reflector on the ground or something like that just to stop that kick up of yellow light. Mm -hmm.